whenever I go out and meet people, I am always fascinated by how we Filipinos treat each other. We bring the culture of respect wherever we are. We say po and opo. We do not call our elders by the first names without honorifics. Since speaking politely is a part of who we are, whatever the language is, it has to be shown and practiced. Therefore, it is important that we know how to use can, may, and could. Could I borrow your pen? Another thing that impresses me about our identity is how we stand for what is right. We are great and dignified. We follow the rules. We should follow the rules. But why did I say should? It is another topic that we will discuss. So let's proceed. By the way, I am Teacher Irwin and the lesson for today is about models. At the end of the session, you will be able to Identify modals of permission, obligation, and prohibition in sentences. Express permission, obligation, and prohibition based on situations given. Create meaningful sentences using modals of permission, obligation, and prohibition. What are modals? Modals, also called modal verbs, modal auxiliary verbs, modal auxiliaries, are special verbs which behave irregularly in English. They give additional information about the function of the main verb that follows it and denote intention or feeling of the speaker. It is always accompanied with a verb in its base form. In this video lesson, you will learn to create sentences to express and ask permission using models of permission to state your or others' obligations using models of obligation and to express prohibition whenever things should not be done using models of prohibition. Permission is a consent or agreement given to a request. It is usually expressed by using models of permission. Can, could, or may, plus the verb in its based form. Obligation is a sense of duty demanded by conscience, custom, or gratitude. It is expressed by the models have to, need to, and must. There is slight difference between the way they are used. Prohibition is an act of restraining or stopping an action by an authority. Models used here are the same in models of permission or obligation but with the word not. Can't usually gives the idea of something that is against the rules. Mustn't usually means that it is the speaker with setting the rules.
Now that we're done with the key concepts, we will try to do some activities. This pandemic has changed all aspects of our lives. But as a student, and as a responsible one, no matter what you go through, do not forget being responsible. For that, we will have another task. Here is what you're going to do. That ends our lesson. I am glad you have stayed with me for the whole session. I am Teacher Irwin. There's a piece of advice I want to share with you. Never stop exploring the world, being who you are. Never stop learning English, whatever it takes. I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much.